So I'm Jyoti, and this is my awesome PowerPoint, which had some great font on that I downloaded from the internet. But of course, that font is not on that computer. So that's a really sad story. So this is like sans serif or something. OK, so I'm going to talk about the theater. The everything was beautiful at the ballet. Well, theater. OK, so for this bit, I want you to imagine it's like all dark, and there's fog, and like tense music and stuff. OK, got that? Cool. OK. In a time when there is death wherever you look, there is a place where even orphan immigrants can be celebrated, where you can spend one short day in happiness, where the hills are alive, and you can be a rich man through knowledge and experience. There is a place where you could have danced all night, and if you have a secret love, you can shout it from the highest hill. The theater is where love and beauty come together to create something incredible, and without it, the world would be so much different. As you probably already know, we have a very long and involved history with the performing arts. Theater started back in the time of the Greeks and followed the evolution of the human race up to now. And in that time, we've had Greek tragedies giving new meaning to drama and Shakespeare giving us literally thousands of new words and phrases. Without Shakespeare, we might all still be speaking in grunts. Well, that was over a long, long time before Shakespeare, but you know what I'm saying. Basically, theater has always been a part of our human lives, and now is definitely not the time to get rid of it. As the song goes, everything was beautiful at the ballet, and it's true, especially in terms of theater and performance. When a child or an adult or a teenager of any race, gender, or religion sees themselves represented on Broadway, the West End, or even just the local stage, they cannot help but be filled with joy and passion for this art form which can enchant you into believing anything is real. This reflection of life and its unique qualities is what so drew me towards theatre. For me, performing in shows is a way to experience the ups and downs of life. It helps me learn about others, it helps me find joy in the little things, and in the meantime, I learn about myself and who I want to be in this world. Performing on stage with my theatre group, who I absolutely love being a part of, has helped me to learn many things and grow as a person. I've developed a strong personality and character. I have learned how to struggle through any situation and I can make people happy. Really, that is what theatre is about, inspiring people and making them happy. In his Tony Awards opening number of 2013, Neil Patrick Harris highlighted this in his speech. Uh, I'm going to do this like much slower because he wraps it really fast. Okay. There's a kid in the middle of nowhere who's sitting there living for Tony performances, singing and flipping along with the Pippins and Wickies and Kinkies, Matildas and Mormonses. So he might reassure that kid and do something to spur that kid because all of us, we were that kid. This is what theatre now and always will stand for, inspiring people to sing and dance and just be the best they can be. You could say that drama is like a form of virtual reality for the more physically active, and it doesn't damage your eyesight either. Instead of goggles, you look through your own eyes from the perspective of someone else. Instead of a video game, you have a script and the will to make of that whatever you wish. What, um, sorry. Theoretically, a dramatic tragedy could become a comedy with a few over-the-top characters and changes the way you speak. What does this teach you? Life is what you make of it. From an audience point of view, watching a show is like watching a film, but the emotion, the tension, the feeling is thick like fog in the air, and you become immersed in this experience where you watch other people's lives fold out before your very eyes and are left, ble and are left breathless and in awe of the choreography, the acting, and, well, the show in general. A few weeks ago, I went to see the musical Wicked on its UK tour. I'd read two-thirds of the book and memorized the whole soundtrack until I could sing every single part. I was waiting for the time of my life. I was so excited. But even after all that, nothing could prepare me for the beauty and magnificence of it all. I was awestruck because theater is beautiful. Theatre, performing, musicals are the epitome of love and beauty. So much care is placed into every single syllable of a show to make sure that it sends the right message and to make sure that it is completely and utterly perfect. 
Really, the way the theatre community approaches the show is the way we should approach life. They work as a team, supporting each other. They find the most incredible and imaginative solutions to any problem that they face. And most importantly, they love. They love the show like a mother would love her newborn child. They love the cast, they love the fans, they love themselves and are proud of what they have created. In the theatre profession, you learn to love yourself no matter what, and most importantly, you learn that the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. It's a lame quote for you. Uh, but also you learn about the vast and expanding world around you. Countless shows from the 20th and 21st century highlight the issues of the time, from fighting back against AIDS, to revolution, to being gay or lesbian, to the struggle of African-American people in the 18th, 19th, 20th and 21st century. A play or musical is a way of spreading the message of love and hope around the world and of learning about life in new ways. When the light flashes down and the grand curtains roll open, you are enthralled and can't help but to take in the story. When you look down on the stage and see the audience with passion gleaming in their eyes, you can't help but connect with your character, play it the best you can and learn from them. Times are hard at the moment, and in the UK, the arts have had severe funding cuts already. Do we really want a generation that has no creative experience, that has no passion for life and its many wonders, that are simply there to do as the government tells them and eventually destroy the world? It's sucky, I know. <laughs> we need the theatre more than ever right now. As Benny said in the musical Rent, the opposite of war isn't peace, it's creation. And theatre and musicals and plays are creation. They are the way to share your emotion, express your ambitions and let your creativity run free. So what we need to do now is create. Fight the power and share how awesome we all are, whether that be through acting, writing, composing or lifting really heavy bits of set. All you set builders, I am in awe of you. The set looks great, and you carry heavy stuff. It's great. No matter what you do or where you are, there is always a way to share the love and passion of theatre with those around you. I tell you what, just turn to the person next to you and smile. Good job. And there you have it. You've just used body language and acting to share a positive emotion with someone. This would be the same if maybe you had a conversation with someone. It could be as simple as, hi, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing great, thanks. There, by doing that, you're improvising, reacting, and connecting with the other person. But as well as this, all the skills you can learn through acting, such as body language and tone of voice, can be used to make somebody, anybody, smile or laugh. Imagine if we all walked around with a neutral expression and a monotone voice. We'd probably all get really bored and depressed pretty easily. So, connect with your creativity. Become the wonderful ambassador for, ambassador for life and all its amazingness that you were meant to be, that we were all meant to be. How can we make our world perfect? Simply look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Tomorrow is only a day away, and when we grow up, we will be brave enough to fight the creatures that you have to fight beneath the bed. And though in our shadow land the leaves have fallen, I believe that the music can set us free. No matter what, you can't stop the beat, so don't. Live life to its fullest, and when someone says, shall we dance, say yes. Because ultimately, there is no day but today. So please, please, please make the most of it and go to the theatre while you're at it. Thank you.